guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I'm sharing our boys' bedroom, all decorated for Christmas. I can't wait to tell you all about what we did in here and the decor that my boys actually chose for their room. Well, they chose the theme. I had to help them out a little bit with the decor. But before I get to that, I just want to thank KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. I will talk more about them in a little bit later on in the video. Let's start off by just focusing on this tree right behind me. So a couple of weeks ago, I told you guys that I had gathered up all of this inspiration for my boy's bedroom. And I shared five different trees with you. One of the trees had vintage toys all over it. One of them had letters and blocks. And, and honestly, I was leaning towards the vintage toy theme. I thought that would be super cute in here. I wanted to go to the thrift store, look for a bunch of old toys, cram them into the tree. But when I showed my boys the idea that I had for their room, you guys should have seen the look on their faces. <laughs> they were not excited about the toy theme and I could not believe it. I, I even tried to convince them of it. I was like, but look how cute we can stick airplanes and, and choo-choo trains and you know all kinds of things in your tree but they had their own idea for what they wanted in here. And my husband was laughing really hard because he was like, they're really picky. I wonder who they get that from. <laughs> not me, surely, not their mother, but Ethan, especially my oldest, he has a lot of qualities like his mother. And he wanted to decorate their tree with animal ornaments. We went to the store, he saw some animal ornaments. My boys love animals. Um, they love reading about animals, they love watching animal uh, shows on TV. I mean, they've collected lots of animals, uh, toy plastic animals over the years. And he, as soon as he saw these animal ornaments, that's the theme he wanted to choose. And so that's what we went with. I purchased a variety of different ornaments. Some of these came from my mom. She saw some and thought they'd be so cute on their tree. Some of them my sister picked up for me. Um, over at Bronner's. I don't know if you guys have heard of Bronner's. It's like the largest Christmas store in the world here in Michigan uh, over down in Frankenmuth. Um, and then the rest I think were picked up at like Target, Walmart, various places. So we put these felt, these adorable animals all over their tree and I wanted to go in with ribbon and Ethan again was very specific. He said that he wanted to um, put bulbs on the tree. He said, mom, it needs Christmas bulbs. You need to put ornaments on there. <laughs> so we went to the store and I picked out all the colors that would kind of match their theme, their, their colors in their room. I found a package at the dollar store actually for like $6. It had this really pretty navy blue. It had um, silver bulbs and white ones. And so it was perfect. And we tucked in a few little green ones as well that we found. But um, along with a wooden bead garland, that's really what we did in their room. And they love it, and it was different than what I had planned, but that's okay. They were so happy when we finished. They thought it was adorable. And so that's their tree. And if you're wondering about the brand of the tree, I should have mentioned this first before I got started. This tree is from Pulio International, and I ended up swapping this one with the tree that was in my sunroom because it's much more slim, so it's perfect for their bedroom. It doesn't take up as much space, but both my sunroom tree and this tree is from Pulio. I love their trees. They're so realistic and lifelike. I will put links um, to these trees in the description for you below. So I, I honestly love the way their tree turned out. It's fun, it makes me smile because they were so specific about what they wanted. But um, you guys know me and you know that I had to put a little bit of a spin on <laughs> my own spin on this whole animal theme for their bedroom. So I went to the thrift store and I ended up finding this cute little vintage book. It was like a dollar or two dollars called Animal Parade and it was written um, or it was published, I believe, in like the 1950s, I wanna say, this really pretty cute little book. And the pages were perfect. They had all of these animal prints on every page. Um, and oh my goodness, like D is for dog and A is for alligator and all these things. And so I went through the book with my boys and they picked out their favorite pages and we made this little vintage book garland that I hung. Originally, I wanted to put it on their tree. Again, the boys didn't like it on the tree. So I hung it on their shelves that we built this summer, my husband built. 
um, in different little places with greenery. And guys, I think it's so precious and it looks so cute for Christmas, this little Christmas animal theme happening. I just love the way that this book garland looks. And then we took it a step further and got all of their animals out that they've collected at thrift shops over the years and garage sales. And we kind of just decorated the room with their little rubber um, plastic animals, whatever they're made of. And I just kind of set them in place uh, along with the garland and the greenery. And I just think it looks so cute for Christmas. So I love the way it turned out. The room is very small, but I just, I feel like they did such a good job sort of choosing this theme. When their uh, bed is pushed in, we can put that little table, that checkered checkers table that was my grandfather's. We can put that next to the bed. And I just love it there. I get questions all the time. Do all of your boys sleep in this room? And yes, they do. We have another bedroom that one of them could go sleep in, but they all want to be together. So two of them are in this full size bed and then one of them sleeps on the pullout mattress. So they love it. They all want to be together and that's fine with me. I love hearing them giggle in here at night and they're all just, they like to be in here. And my sisters and I, all three of us shared a bedroom about this size growing up. So I just, I get comments about that all the time. Like, do all three of your boys sleep in that room? That's so small, but they do and they love it. And my boys are little. I mean, they're eight, five, and three. So I'm sure as they grow older, they're gonna want more of their own space. But I just, I love the way this room came together. I put a little tree next to their bed on the vintage books there. And I think that's so cute. And I also wanted to mention these adorable stockings that are from my friend Rhonda over at Hallstrom Home. I've shared her many times before. My bedding is from her. She sent some goodies this summer, like the beautiful dough bowl that's on my dining room table. She sent me these awesome stockings that I'll put a link to in the description below. She sent one in cream, one in navy blue that matches the walls perfectly. So it's just so cute. And then a black and white striped one. I think it's black and white. And I cannot believe how well they go in my boys' bedroom. They're just so cute. They're hanging on the board and bat next to the window. And I just, I'm absolutely in love with those stockings. So you have to check out her shop, you guys. She has so many beautiful stockings available in her shop that are just so pretty. I just love the way the room came together. Of course, I used a blanket as a tree skirt this year under their tree. That is actually a thrift store find, this beautiful blue and green and white plaid. And it's so pretty. It was like a couple bucks at a thrift store, brand new. The tag was still on it. And I bought it a while ago and I finally just found the perfect place for it. I love it under their tree. Another thing that I brought in is that beautiful uh, old rocking horse that I found. I think I found it with you guys. Um, I shared it with you on my YouTube channel. It must have been last summer maybe when I was antique shopping with my mom up north <laughs> at, at our family cabin. We went antique shopping together and I found that. I want to say it was like 10 bucks or 15 bucks and I think it looks so cute and festive in their room for Christmas with the little greenery around the horse's neck. So I had to bring that in here as well. So since we are talking about kids' bedrooms and children and decorating for Christmas with kids, I wanted to bring something up with you guys. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this, um, this post, this video was sponsored by KiwiCo. And I have to share all about this company with you guys because I, I'm in love with the concept and I just can't wait to give you all the details. So first of all, KiwiCo was started by a mom of three, which right off the bat, I'm like, Go moms, that's awesome. But it was started by a mom of three and she wanted to spark creativity in her kids. And so she started KiwiCo. And basically it's for all ages, kids of all ages. Um, and it's designed so that kids see themselves as makers and creators and engineers. KiwiCo's mission and goal is to provide the next generation of innovators with the tools and the foundation to become problem solvers and critical thinkers. And I just love this mission so much. I think that kids today are becoming sadly, they're becoming consumers of information, just consuming information all the time, especially with, you know, all the screens that we have today. And instead of getting involved themselves and tinkering and playing and creating and using their imagination, they're just absorbing information. And so I think it's so important for kids to be involved in activities that 
help them to use their brain and to problem solve. And it's just, it's a passion of mine and my husband's. When I heard about KiwiCo, I was so excited about this concept. I think it is the coolest thing, especially if you're looking for gift ideas this holiday season. Guys, I cannot tell you how many parents I've talked to who have said, I have no idea what to get my kids for Christmas. They have everything. Grandparents too. My grandkids have everything. What am I gonna get them for Christmas? I have a solution to your problem. This, I would be so excited to get this as a mom for my kids from grandparents, from an aunt or uncle. KiwiCo creates these cool hands-on projects and toys that are, that are designed to expose kids to the concepts of STEM, so science, technology, engineering, art, and math, okay? KiwiCo offers nine different subscription lines, so they have different subscriptions um, that are custom customizable and they cater to different age groups. And what I love so much is that each box comes with all the supplies needed. So you don't need to run to the store. You don't need to go, oh, we need tape or we need yarn for this project. No, everything is included in the crate, which is awesome for moms, busy moms like me who can't, you know, run out all the time to grab supplies for these projects and crafts. So last night we got our very first uh, KiwiCo shipment and we got home from grocery shopping actually and I told the boys they had to wait till today to open them but they were so excited and my husband was excited too. He really wanted to see what these crates were all about so we let the boys dig into them and they seriously loved them. You guys, they loved them. I could not believe the smiles on their faces. My little three-year-old was so excited. When you purchase these for kids, you're not just teaching them to buy, you are teaching them to build. And I think that is so cool. These Kiwi Co crates, they are the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> all year round because it's not just like one thing they open at Christmas and in a couple months they're done with it and you're bringing it to the Goodwill. You know, it just keeps coming and they keep learning and I just think that's such a neat concept. So I'm just gonna end by sharing this special offer that I have for you guys. You can go to kiwico.com forward slash pine and prospect in order to get 50% off your first month of any crate. So I will put that link in the description below. And another thing that I want to mention is that KiwiCo now ships to more than 40 countries. I know that I have people all over the world that watch this channel, so that was exciting for me to hear. Isn't that cool? The heat from the candles is causing it to twirl. Isn't that neat, Gabe? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this bedroom tour. I love the way that my boy's bedroom turned out. I love the animal theme. Let me know what you guys think. If if you have you seen like Christmas animal theme bedrooms before? I feel like I haven't, but um, so I feel like it's very original of them. <laughs> I'm just proud of them for coming up with this theme and I just loved helping them decorate their room this year. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit uh, that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.